Disclaimer, the following video revolves on feedback, criticism, and is supposed to be a joke slash parody. The fact that it is one doesn't mean I hate the thing. I'm only pointing out things that I agree or not. Please try not to take this seriously. Remember what I said about Thomas Makes a Mistake being my least favorite of the season? Sure, I know the episode is bad, but it's not completely bad as this episode. Well, you're not right or wrong about this, but this episode isn't as bad as you may think. This isn't a sin, but I'm just going to point it out as all. This episode is memorable for both the right and wrong reasons. But the sad truth is that it is all for the wrong reason. All for the wrong reasons? This episode actually had taught me a few things, and I'll explain in full detail later on in the video. All of them. That's like saying the live-action Cat in the Hat was remembered by people all over America for all the wrong reasons, too. Bryce Gum makes a pop cultural reference that isn't the center of the film, I mean, episode. Bing. Let's just go in the notes, shall we? Actually, you had no notes, so the fact that you did no research on what this episode is supposed to represent, or what it was trying to do, is worthy of 12 sins. Uh, I mean, 20. Bing. The opening scene starts with Percy rushing home from Tim at Shed's at. Really? You couldn't have done another take to fix that mistake? Don, after delivering all his mail at night, now this is where I pick up for the first major flaw. Not from the first 10 f***ing seconds. How is he rushing home that fast in an hour this early? Let alone railway safety. Now, that's an actual sin I didn't pick up when watching this episode, so I'll remove three sins. Percy thinks that it is scary, and... Okay, this is where it is the only thing I agree with Percy there, because Thomas and Nia would have fallen off and or died to the accident or so on. This is why I think Nia should have been the right character for this episode, instead of Percy. Agreed just get worse. Okay, why is Percy not realizing or seeing he's on a different track? That's the joke. You suck, McBain! I'll see you back at Napper, Percy. Enjoy the snow! Okay, I know Thomas didn't arrive at Napper. Liar, liar, plants for hire. It's pants on fire, Patrick. Oh, you would know. But is this really a way to throw a fucking panic attack over that? Considering Thomas is his best friend, of course Percy would feel concerned and care. Percy tells Rebecca that Thomas is in trouble, saying he was to meet him in effort like he promised, but yet Percy had to throw a panic attack and have Rebecca to be the easy target to his- Skip! Oh, really? Those imagination sequences are what made Percy so paranoid about his own best friend in the first place? Yes. This is a horrible example of making your panic attack worse. Well, I can argue that it isn't a horrible example of making your panic attacks worse. It's a good example. It can teach kids that you shouldn't let your imagination get the better of you or let your imagination run wild. The fact you never had a panic attack in your life is the fact that you don't know how they work. So three sins for misunderstanding what is happening. How the hell can Percy let his worst get the better of him like this? I get that he's naive, but he's not retarded. This is the swear police. The judge advises you to stop using those big swear words or I'll sue you down your shorts. Thank you and never say it again. Bezels look like plankton paranoia from SpongeBob. An episode that gets a character feeling paranoid about something done right. Your opinion is not entirely true. You are validating nothing from this. 
Just because Thomas has not shown up at Natford doesn't mean he's in danger. But he might. Just suspend your disbelief and enjoy the episode. And also, how did his driver and fireman survive the crash? They would have either been injured horribly or worse, they would have died and got themselves killed if they didn't get out of Percy's cabin time. And that's actually the only problem I have with this episode, so five sins removed. In Apology Impossible, the fat controller scolds James for, for being a jackass the whole day. James got his comeuppance, so he got what he deserved. But Percy, this was all his fault! Actually, I'm giving Nia some of the blame as well. Had she not told Percy about the avalanche in the Big World Big Adventures movie, Percy would not have been a nervous wreck like he was in the episode. And you know what? That leads me to making a rewrite. Yeah, you know how that turned out. Don't bother reading it, it's awful. Okay, yeah, I know it sounds like a harsh punishment. Like, I am really wishing a harsh punishment. Except they didn't want the kids to feel bad about themselves. Percy is just a child, and furthermore, it's easier to show the characters learning the lesson for themselves so no punishment is necessary. If I threw a paranoia attack that someone I knew has gone missing and made a complete misunderstanding for nothing by wasting everyone's time and told them to f off from their own duties or business so they can, will help me with all that and yes someone i know turns out to be okay and there's nothing wrong and and want to know what that would be for me i would feel really dead sorry except paranoia attacks from your friends should never be something to get angry over and you're saying this as if percy was crying wolf he wasn't this is chicken little right not that one yeah that one in fact you want to know why they aren't mad at percy because friends support each other no matter what. If my friend threw a paranoia attack, I'd support them, even if they are making a mistake. I would support them no matter what, not scold or make fun of them, and this episode is supposed to show that to kids that they need to support their family and friends when they are feeling paranoid, regardless of their mistakes. <coughs> Pointless filler for no reason. <coughs> But even the moral cannot help save this episode either, despite how good it is. Well, maybe that's the idea, goddammit. The morals of the Emoji Movie were actually good, but weren't executed completely. But this one actually does so. As I said before, you need to support your friends if they're like this. So the fact that you're not understanding what is going on in this episode is worthy of 45 sins. I know. But Sir Topham had diverted me to make an extra delivery of salt for the roads, that's all. So much for the Thomas is in trouble misunderstanding. Even Thomas knows that Sir Topham Hatt did divert him for a good reason. You know, if Percy would have just asked the Fat Controller about Thomas, we would not have a panic for this episode. In fact, that would be good. So his driver would then say that the Fat Controller isn't there then, he'd still have a panic attack. Stop manipulating episodes like this. I cannot tell what episode is worse. Percy's new friends- Hey, that episode wasn't that bad. There was a long silence.